In this section, we'll be doing programming syntaxes, variables, and expressions. There'll be four videos. They are understanding the programming basics, uses of variables and types, using expressions, and working with more expressions. In this video, we will be doing understanding the programming basics. So we'll be covering brackets, comments, and the Java syntax, which includes reserved words, variables, expressions, and statements, blocks of code, arrays, and strings. So let's go back to the code that we had in last section. So the first thing that we're going over is comments. So comments are a great way for allowing other people to read your code. So the way we do single line comments is using two backslashes, just like that. And they're a good way for describing what comes next, or you can do it on the same line. But if you want multi-line comments, an easy way of doing that is doing one backslash and then a star and then press enter. And that means that you can type multi-line comments just like that. Next, we'll be going over reserved words. So these are words such as class, public, static, void, int, string. Now there's quite a lot of reserved words. So these reserved words aren't limited to the set that I have just given here. Next, there are variables. So variables, they cannot begin with numbers. So a valid variable is one that is just like this. Those are valid variable names. Now these are not valid variable names. As it starts with a number, it's not valid, just like this. So any variable that starts with a number will not work and will give your program errors. So next, we have blocks of code. So these are delimited by curly braces, just like that. Now in here, you would put a block of code. So as you can see, there's a curly brace up here, and there's the closing one here. Now that represents this block of code here. And now you also have a block of code here, as there's another set, resembles this, and then you have another one right here. Next, you also have expressions. So these resemble just like a mathematical operation or anything that you want to express in one line. And you express them with normal brackets, just like this. And that's an expression. Now you, to access array items, that's when you use square brackets, just like that. And then you put the number that you want to access in the array. So an array is just a list of items and we'll be covering them in later sections. So arrays, they also start at zero. So if I put four here, that means I want to access array item five. Now we also have statements. So statements, they always end in a semicolon. Here is a statement. As you can see, there's a semicolon finishing the line. And here is also a statement. And there's a semicolon finishing that line. Finally, we have strings. Now they are always delimited by double quotes, just like that. And as you can see, this is an example of a string that double quotes, and inside here is what you want the string to contain. Now you can also have characters. Characters, they are delimited by single quotes, just like that. And usually you would put a single character inside of it. You cannot put more characters inside single quotes, as that will make Java compile an error. So that is the basics of Java syntax.